Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing the full moon energy reading for August 19th. Now, this full moon is going to peak in the sign of Aquarius. This is going to allow us the insight and the push to take a practical look into our lives with what is working and what isn't working. This is going to help us to approach any radical change that we need to make with a sense of calm and practicality. So I challenge you, take an overview of your everyday life and think about one thing you can change or add into your daily routine that will help to drive you closer to the life that you desire. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. That means they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive right into Pisces energy and see what we need to release through this upcoming full moon. Most important message here for Pisces. Spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? and thank you. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups. It's almost like there's many options, but I don't feel like this has to do with relationships. I feel like this has to do with business or job opportunities, okay? And so how do we get clear on what opportunity, what new blessing is coming into our life? How do we know if it's meant for us or not? The Seven of Cups energy tells me that one of the options stands out among the rest. Okay, but a little deeper into it, the opportunity that's meant for you, Pisces, <clears throat> it's going to come into alignment super easy. It's just going to flow. Like everything is going to line up. Everything is going to flow easily. There's going to be no resistance. You're not going to have to overthink, overanalyze. It's just going to take off. Chariot with the King of Pentacles. It's going to feel very easy very light okay I do feel here it's almost like an old boss maybe getting in the way a reference something along those lines I would switch up your resume I would try a different approach and if you can pinpoint who this person is, there may be a need to try and resolve that. At least to have an explanation. So let's clarify the King of Pentacles. There may also be a little bit of a rush to get into. And so there's a need to take your time. All the time that it takes. However, this opportunity, if it hasn't already been presented to you, it's right around the corner. And there is this questioning 
energy. And so there is a need to go through the motions, go through the process. So what does that mean? If this is like a job, put in the resume, go through, through the interview process, and then give it to the universe. Okay, give it to God. Give it to collective consciousness. The page of wands here, it's like taking your time and sifting through all of the opportunities to see which one is in best alignment for you. Okay. Right now, Pisces, there is this guard, this wall, maybe even this mask that you're hiding something that you're healing or something that you're going through in your experience. And there is a need to just be open. Okay. Lean into your support system. Ask for help if you need it. Don't be afraid to reach out. And this message has been coming through for several of the signs. The energy is heavy right now, guys. We need to have that understanding that the energetic pull on the earth from the stars is intense. So with that is going to come a lot of intense emotions. When we prepare, it's easier to overcome, to take that pause. When it happens so quickly and we're in a rush, that's when we miss something, okay? So even though there are these opportunities that are coming at you, <clears throat> Pisces, you're needing to take a pause and sift through all of the opportunities to be certain of the one. And again, the one that's meant for you is just going to flow. There's not going to be any resistance. So you don't really have to worry about it. You just have to see what is in alignment with your bigger picture vision. How does this opportunity align with that? The hanged man, that's some resistance. <clears throat> so if no action is taken, there's going to be an energy of feeling stuck feeling complacent, feeling like you're not moving forward. But I honestly feel here, Pisces, it's almost like you can't ignore this. The pull from the universe will get stronger. As you go through the journey, as you go through the process of choosing or sifting through, okay? It's like this blessing is just being bestowed upon you. So no matter what you do, the opportunity is coming. For a lot of you, you are actively pursuing this. Okay, so again, Paying attention and being open is what's important. Let's pull a few cards out here for your advice. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Page of Swords, Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Temperance Energy. Don't let a fear from something that's happened in your past hold you back. Still pursue these opportunities as if they're meant for you. Because what's meant to be will come in and there will be no resistance. Pay attention to what's coming at you. And that's why it's important to be clear, guys. That's why I always talk about like getting clear on your plan and your bigger picture vision. You hear me talking about that in my readings all the time. <clears throat> why do I say that? Because when there are blessings coming at you, it's easier to see what is in alignment and what isn't. 
We have self-worth for your moon manifestation oracle. Do you believe in yourself? Or do you behave in a way that tells others you're not worthy? Self-worth and self-esteem mean that you will not allow yourself to be led into compromising situations. Act as though you are worthy of only the best and you shall have it. Keep your head high. What value do you place on yourself in your life? Beautiful Pisces. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main thing that I get from this entire message, there are opportunities that are being presented to you. And there may be a little bit of fear, a little bit of you feel like it's resistance, but it's really like overanalyzing. Go through the motions, like the opportunity was meant for you, but make sure that it's in alignment with your bigger picture vision. Okay. One of those opportunities are going to stand out among the rest. Pisces, thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey friends. So I just wanted to come on and again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey and don't be afraid to disconnect guys the purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction the channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because i feel like once you heal you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.